Guys, building a website can feel like juggling a bunch of different tools. One for hosting, another for design, maybe a few more for security and backups. Well, today we're diving into a platform that tries to simplify all that – Elementor Host. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll walk you through exactly what this service is, how it works, and why it might be a smarter choice than piecing everything together on your own. I'll even show you how to migrate a WordPress site over in just a few clicks. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. So what exactly is Elementor Host, guys? I like to describe it like this. It's like WordPress and Elementor had a baby with Squarespace. In one package you get everything you need to build a fully functioning WordPress website. That includes built-in hosting too. Here's the basic idea, folks. You never need to think about hosting, because Elementor takes care of that for you. You sign up for Elementor Host, and they create a new WordPress install on their Google Cloud Hosting. They pre-install the Hello theme and the core Elementor plugin for you. Then, guys, you start building your site within just a couple of minutes. You can import one of their pre-made layout kits or build from scratch. And you use Elementor's visual drag-and-drop interface either way. At the same time, you still have a fully functioning WordPress site underneath. You're free to install your own plugins or add a new theme if you want, folks. For more advanced users, you can also access the underlying hosting using FTP and PHP MyAdmin. This service gives you quality-managed WordPress hosting features too. You get custom domains, built-in CDN from Cloudflare, and automatic daily backups. Guys, they also include free SSL certificates and built-in security features. We're talking web application firewall, DDoS protection, and staging sites for testing. Plus, you get 24-7 support via live chat. The main advantage is simplicity, my friends. You don't need to worry about purchasing hosting separately or installing WordPress yourself. You just sign up and start building using Elementor's visual interface. It has a real website builder feel, but gives you way more flexibility than Squarespace. Alright guys, let's take a closer look at Elementor Host. It's a cloud service made specifically for WordPress sites. Let's break down what it is and why it might be a good fit for your projects. Let's go into the admin console and start by getting Elementor Host. I'll click Create Website, then use the Host Cloud Plus subscription option. And you'll see three ways to get started. Folks, you can either create a new site, build one with AI, or migrate an existing website. We'll go with the third option to show how easy it is to move a WordPress site over to Elementor Host. The system gives you some info to help you get ready before starting the migration. We see three important reminders here. First, you guys don't turn off hosting for your current site until the migration is fully finished. Second, you should keep your WordPress login details ready to connect. And finally, this guide uses Migrate Guru technology. And if you need extra help with that, you can always request free migration assistance. Ok folks, now I'll click let's go and paste a link to my website. In this case, I'm using my blog, which is currently hosted on another platform. And I'm going to move it to Elementor Host. And as you can see guys, the Migrate Guru tool launched. We'll need to copy the key, install and activate the MG plugin and log into it. Then I'll choose Elementor from the list of hosting providers and paste in the key. Once that's done, all we have to do is tick the checkbox to confirm it and hit continue. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Let's walk through the process, my friends. Now we're taken to the dashboard where we install the Migrate Guru plugin. I'll go ahead and install and then activate it. Now I'll agree to the terms, choose Elementor as my new hosting provider and paste in the migration key. Guys, there's an optional section where you can tweak a few things, but we'll leave everything as it is. I'll click Migrate and the migration process begins. You'll see files being copied, tables being transferred, and finally the migration is initializing. Once that's done, you'll see the notification that it was completed successfully. That means your site has been moved to its new address. Now, folks, you can manage your site through the Elementor Host admin panel. You can choose this editing option right here to load the page builder and start tweaking your home page. You can also jump into the WordPress dashboard if you prefer to work from there. And guys, there's also an option to clone the site or even create new WordPress login credentials, all without going into the WordPress admin area directly. And remember, folks, whenever you need any kind of help, don't be shy to ask for assistance. 
they've got a professional support team that'll answer all of your questions. So, my friends, let's talk about what you actually get for your money. The basic idea here is pretty simple. You pay one fee for everything you need to build a site with no hidden surprises. And sure, you might want to purchase some additional premium plugins. But that's true of any WordPress site, really. For most sites, especially personal portfolios or business brochure sites, you have everything you need, guys. You get all this for one flat fee, starting at $180 per year or about $108 for the first year with their discount. Now, some cheap WordPress hosts can beat that price with their promo pricing, but those are usually only temporary prices that go up later. Folks, you're basically getting the kind of infrastructure that other providers charge $30 or more for, starting at just $8.99. On top of that, you still get managed WordPress features like staging, automatic backups, and integrated caching, which makes it a really solid deal compared to typical cheap shared hosting. Elementor Host offers different pricing options depending on what kind of website you're building. Guys, if you're just starting with a regular WordPress site, there's a cloud hosting plan. It's made for WordPress and includes built-in CDN and auto-scaling. That means your site will stay fast even if traffic spikes. If you're setting up an online store, Elementor has WooCommerce bundles available. These give you everything you need to start selling right away. For bigger businesses or custom needs, there are enterprise plans with dedicated support, my friends. These also include high-level security features. All right, folks, now we're going to do a detailed comparison of Elementor Host with two big players in the WordPress hosting space. Kinsta, which is known as a premium managed WordPress hosting provider, and SiteGround, which is a very popular shared hosting provider that also offers managed options. Kinsta positions itself as a high-end solution, guys. They don't show starting prices upfront on their homepage, but we know their basic single site plan starts at around $30 per month. SiteGround, on the other hand, promotes its WordPress startup plan starting at just €2.99 per month. Elementor Host comes in at $8.99 per month if you pay annually, and even after the first year subscription is over, the price is $15 per month. So price-wise, folks, it sits right in the middle between budget hosting and premium hosting. When it comes to infrastructure, Kinsta runs on Google Cloud Platform and also offers extras like Cloudflare integrations, though those add-ons often come with extra costs. SiteGround has its own infrastructure and only uses Google Cloud for its higher-tier plans. Their entry-level plans run on SiteGround's own servers. Elementor Host, on the other hand, gives you Google Cloud C2 plus Cloudflare Enterprise CDN. And guys, the nice part is, those are included in every plan by default. Even the basic offer includes this level of integration. Independent tests show a median global time to first byte of about 146 milliseconds. For security, Kinsta offers enterprise-grade protection. Things like hardware firewalls, DDoS detection, and continuous monitoring. But of course, that comes with their premium pricing. SiteGround promotes 85% faster websites when moving to their platform, folks, with 24-7 monitoring that checks servers every 4 to 5 seconds. Their security features are solid, but the more advanced protections are only available on higher-tier plans. Elementor Host includes edge-level WAF, DDoS shield protection, and premium-free SSL, along with bot mitigation and managed updates, all built right into the basic plan, no upsells required. When it comes to support, Kinsta highlights their expert team with under 2-minute average response times and a 97% satisfaction rate. But keep in mind, guys, their help is limited to hosting-related issues only. SiteGround also offers 24-7 live in-house support, which they market as super fast and friendly. Response times are generally good, but again, the scope is mostly focused on hosting problems. The unique advantage of Elementor Host is that it combines support for hosting, WordPress, and Elementor itself. One ticket can solve everything. For developers, Kinsta offers staging environments, automatic backups, local development, and production optimization. But many of these features can cost extra guys. SiteGround only provides staging from their Grow Big plan, daily backups, and Git integration, while most advanced tools are reserved for higher tier plans. Elementor Host gives you staging in all cloud plans, integration with Migrate Guru, site sharing for collaboration, and full synergy with the builder. That's a truly unique advantage. By the way, just to be clear, guys, 
the hosting and the builder are two separate things now. So if you buy a hosting plan, you're just getting hosting. The website builder plugin is a separate purchase. It used to be bundled together, but they stopped doing that back in May 2025. In summary, Kinsta is designed for projects that need developer-level features, like SSH access. It's built to handle cases where bona fide developers are managing complex sites. But that premium focus also comes with a premium price tag. SiteGround is a solid all-rounder for general WordPress hosting, though their promo prices can be misleading since renewals get expensive. Elementor Host, on the other hand, gives you comparable infrastructure and capabilities to Kinsta, but at a much lower cost, folks. For most sites where a skilled web creator is enough, it's still a premium hosting provider, just at a much better price. The main benefit of Elementor hosting is simple. You pay for one platform and get a complete solution. No juggling providers, no passing the blame, no hidden fees. Alright guys, so that's Elementor host in a nutshell. Super simple to use, packed with features. And honestly, it just makes the whole process of building and managing a WordPress site way easier. You don't have to worry about hosting setups, plugin installs, or even buying a separate Elementor Pro license. It's all ready to go from the start. Folks, if you've been putting off launching your site because it feels too complicated or time-consuming, this is seriously worth a try. Whether you're building a personal blog, a business site, or even an online store, this thing can save you time and stress. So if this looks like something that could work for you, check the links in the description, there might be a nice discount waiting. And hey guys, let me know in the comments. Have you tried it? Thinking about switching? Got any questions? I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.